Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how I do fig popping, uh, rooting fig cuttings. Okay, I'm going to get all of my materials together here, try and smash up a couple of videos and explain what I'm doing. Right off the bat, I'm using Promix BX, uh, potting soil. And I did the five to one. So I took five of these of soil and one of these of well water. But I doubled that. So it was actually ten of those full of potting soil and two of those full of well water. And a uh, mixing apparatus that you can get at a hardware store. And just, did that about 30 minutes ago and uh, I just gave it time to hydrate and get everything together so what I'll be doing is filling those with soil uh, two of these cups of soil go in there that's just the uh, size I've been making them to keep them consistent um, so you can see about what that is I should uh, and um, I'll be using these bags These rubber bands and some Qualinex rooting gel, which I'll have a better shot of here in a minute. Also, some grafting tape, which is uh, more of the uh, saran wrap type consistency, um, but it's fine. Uh, I've heard negative things about it, but the buds, every bud so far is popping out through the uh, through the through the uh, grafting tape and we're doing that we're using the grafting tape on the ends of all of the cuttings like this that uh, to keep them from desiccating or losing too much of their humidity before they get a chance to root I will also be taking all these cuttings that I just pulled out of the refrigerator, I've only had in there for a few days. These I just took today off of a tree in town. And also some mulberry cuttings from Jan Doolin, Jan's Best. Uh, that's her. Uh, you can find her on Facebook. Let's see. I'll be taking the cuttings, except for the ones I just did today. I'll take these ones that I got in the mail, and I'll cut the... The down end, the rooting end, just a centimeter, a couple centimeters off the end before I dip it into the rooting hormone. Okay, so I'm going to do all of that and then smash this video together, get a bunch of stuff done, and then show you, you know, not the next step necessarily, but what it looks like when I'm in the middle of it. But it's going to take a little bit of time to fill all these bags up and uh get ready okay okay it's been a couple of minutes and i'm almost finished filling up all of my bags with about two of these cups um it's not two full cups but uh anyways you got to get your measurement right it's that much right there okay um right however you want it i guess it would depend on the size of your bag Anyways, there, there's a uh, video I want to mention by the Notorious FIG on YouTube. It's his comprehensive version 2.0 2023 comprehensive guide to fig popping, I guess is what it says next. But if you get that far, you'll find it. Um, watch that video. Watch this video. And uh, you'll, uh, you'll have a pretty good chance for success with your fig popping okay um i also didn't mention that uh the temperature should be set at 78 degrees for a uh, heating mat underneath underneath your uh fig cuttings and you can see obviously this is inside my living room um where the temperature is probably i don't know 70 degrees or something in here so, uh, um but you want the the heat mat set at 78 degrees and stick your uh, temperature probe down into a bag and it'll actually 
it'll actually be a little more accurate. Um, okay, I'm going to stop here and then I'll continue in just a few minutes once I get all the bags labeled and the ends of all of my cuttings cut off and dipped into some growth hormone. And I'll get set up and uh, over there on the rug to do the next step. All right, thanks. Okay, the next step that I'm doing is I've got all of them laid out in a row. And I started here on my left, and each one of these corresponds with a label written on the bag, okay? For instance, Vito, I've got three of these, and I'm doing, I've got all three of them in a line here, so I'm not going to get them mixed up. So I started on this end, and I'm going down next, taking my parafilm or uh, grafting tape, this is the upside, and I'm not recutting the upside, that's just how it is now. I'm, I'm covering it, I'm getting a stretch on it, and I'm stretching this tape as, I, as I'm wrapping it. Maybe the first bud, maybe the second bud down. Um, I think all you really need is the top bud, but I, just, I like to get a good tight feel on it. So I'm going down the line doing that, keeping them in order, okay? Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking my new pair of cutters and I'm taking some uh, Lysol wipes. Now this is assuming you followed the notorious FIG's post and you've already scrubbed your cuttings in some warm soapy water and you've uh, put them in a 10 to 1 bleach solution I believe is what he uses. I did that on a big set of like the first ones I did this year and I'm not doing it but I don't recommend you uh, do it anything any which way if you feel like doing it do it that way or test it do it side by side So this is one that I cut today. You can see it's still got good green, but I'm gonna cut it here about You know a couple centimeters. There's a node. So I'm just still below a node. So I'm gonna take that And everybody says don't double dip in your rooting gel, but whatever they all do it when they say don't do it so I dipped it in this purple clone X and I'm just scraping off some excess then I'm going to set it back in line. Okay. Then I'm going to work my way all the way down the line again. Slicing. And dipping. And then, as I get to the... See, let me just point this out. That's the, I've got stuff down here to catch my drip also. Because this stuff's going to drip. And I don't like to get it on me. So I have three vetoes, right? So I'm going to do the third one. Here, let me... This is just kind of important... Let's see, third one, cut it off, dip it good, scrape off all your excess. Now since I'm switching to a new variety here, let's see, the fourth one, the fourth bag is Deanna White. Number four and five are both Deanna White. So I'm going to clean my blades because I'm switching to a new type. Then I'm going to cut Deanna White. So there's a node there, but still I'm going to cut right up underneath it the best I can. Good, good clean green material you see that so dump it dunk it scrape off your excess okay and there'll be two of those Deanna whites boom boom but I gotta first I like to just keep it all in order I'm going on down the line this way wrapping sealing my tops so they don't lose any more moisture while they sit here okay I'm gonna check back in on the next stage when I'm taking them from here and they can sit here for a while while this stuff soaks in on the end. Um, I'm going to work my way all the way down, finish this step, and then I'll be taking them from here and putting them into the bag. And I'll show you that step in a few minutes. Okay. Something I want to point out. Uh, I went ahead and finished wrapping all the tops. And I'm going down the line, cutting the bottoms off. Uh, and I'm going to pick up dipping right here where I left off before. But it's real important, I think, to cut the ends off like this fresh cuts before you dip them like they've been sitting in the refrigerator or something this is what the end looks like okay it could have some sort of just uh mold or bacteria or just rusty looking aging uh, bruising um oxidation on the end and so you're going to cut that little bit off and then expose this clean look right on the bottoms of all these but it's also important because some of them once you cut it you'll see something like this a little bit of browning around the edge or where the skin 
is peeling off the bark is peeling off like the dermis is already dead or something so you cut off another couple uh another little bit you know a couple centimeters or whatever quarter inch and you'll get up to some good clean fresh wood i think this is very important i think i'll have better success this year than i did last year because i didn't do this step last year i thought from my experience of growing cactuses that the longer that it calloused the better before you went and potted it up but i think that's going to make a big difference this year okay i'm going to hurry up and uh dip these because i didn't see that one already looks like it's starting to oxidize just sitting here for like a couple of minutes while i made this video okay so i am in the middle of uh fade popping uh for this video well not just for this video but i've got all my ends dipped um I ran to the grocery store to get some stuff, uh, some unbleached flour to make uh, some uh, sourdough starter, but that's besides the point. But then I checked the mailbox and I got another 20 cuttings in the mailbox. So I am going to run out here and show you right quick my little setup might as well not in a rush and this doesn't have to be a very fast video i was going to make it very short and sweet just about fig popping but there's there's a lot of tutorials so let's see i gotta go back over here where's my thing at my tub so there's some of the house coming along that wasn't here last time in my last video where is Oh, that's us right over here. Okay. Let's see. All right. Oh, this wasn't here last time. A new concrete patio. Uh, sidewalk that goes all the way down. Another big patio in the back. That wasn't here last time. Oh, here's 99 giant arborvitas that I paid two dollars a piece for. That I'm uh planting somewhere you see up there's where all the figs are planted already up by the bulldozer there's 125 in ground up there already big trees let's see that new mulch put there got the uh tractor trailer moved okay let's see here we are I built a rabbit pen um Tillstone homestead. Um, the last video I made, the bun bun was still in our living room, but now she's out here in her little crib. Look at this. She's all set up. Nice rabbit coop. Rabbit hutch. Her little box. There she is. What you doing, girl? And her little hay and food and treats and water and stuff. A couple little toys. Oh, that, that budget's her toy. Oh, and her screecher. Okay, alright. Let's get back to good popping. Okay, so. Get my cups out of here. I'm going to do five to one ratio soil to water. Okay. Well, this is going to be hard. Oh, and there's my bag of pill mix. Alright, so I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to do five. I'm actually going to do it double again because I'm going to do ten of these. Then go up there and put two stroop, two of those full of well water. And then blender it up. Okay, bye. Okay, this is the second one. I already dumped the first one in there. You can barely see it. Uh, there's ten of these same size containers of soil. And this is the second one of the same size container, so it makes a five to one ratio, soil to water, and that's, that's your uh, good ratio from the, uh, oh, you'll hear Notorious F.I.G. quote that it was from the folks at uh, Our Fig. And you can find me on Our Fig, I'm going to start posting more on there been more active uh i've only made one or two posts i'm fig hog on our page but uh 
Okay, um, yeah, that door wasn't here last time, or the bolt head finished. Down there, I've got that one finished. I'll run down there and show you. Um, let's see. There's my beautiful uh, crawl space access doors. Freshly finished. Let's see, I gotta put a, a thing on it. They open up. There's the crawl space there. I finished some stuff, but that's that. Gonna build another one down there. And then I can finish. Then I've got to run my uh, dehumidifier pipe down here to this. Boom. And then I can cover all this back in finally. Um, so, yeah. Got the back door finished. That's the bedroom door right there. So it's done. Built some steps. Or a little patio right here. Porch. Let's see. Look at that. Nice big 10 by 24 patio and actually I'm about to finish it it's going to come out here sidewalks and encapsulate all the way down this side as well the rabbit pin I was trying to say was plans that we bought from Tealstone Homestead she's got plans on her website or her YouTube channel you can find her of how to build that coop and it worked out flawlessly it's a great little coop anyways okay I'm going to finish blending this up make sure I get all that water soil mixed up Let's see, get it from the bottom, make sure none of that, see, I'm going to get all that worked in and get it blended up a couple of times and give it about 30 minutes just to hydrate all of that beet moss and stuff. Okay, bye. Okay, so, I'm letting that back so I just mixed up hydrate over there and I want you to watch me do this, this is the speed it should take, I'm taking my bag. Giving it a couple shapes. That's all the compacting I'm doing is a couple of shapes. I'm cutting that much off the top. You'll see why. Then I take my marker and just kind of make a hole down in there a couple inches to just make it easy so I'm not ramming that down. You never want your uh, saran wrapped or hair film top, top to be under the soil line also. I need a little band. Now, you can watch a lot of videos online. There's plenty of people doing this. Don't just stop with my video. Watch. Watch about a hundred big popping videos and then pick which way you want to do it. Okay, there we go. Cut the top off. Cut you a hole in the middle there. Insert cutting. So last year I didn't, uh, let's see, I, I'm doing several different things this year. Last year I compacted these bags super tight. So that was the right idea. Um, this year I'm not compacting the soil. Um, last year I did not wrap the tops to uh, prevent dehydrating or uh, desiccating the cutting. What else? Last year I didn't dip every single one of them in uh, rooting liquid. Or, uh, yeah, um, I just stuck some straight in there. Last year I didn't cut the bottoms off freshly before I dipped them in rooting hormone. Um, I think all those things there are going to bring me better results this year. Um, last year I didn't use my cuttings as soon as I got them. I didn't, I didn't use them super fresh. Um, this year, as soon as I'm getting them, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fig popping them and get them right away, get them going right away. Uh, that's not all the time it should take you to do these. You gotta move, you know, take the time if you want. But, so... What else? What else do I have to say before I make the end of the video? Once I'm done with these, I'm making sure they're all on the heat mat. Um, going at 78 degrees. Like I said, stick the probe from your heating mat down into the bag of, of soil. I poked a little hole in one and just stuck it in. That seems to be giving me a, a you know, my 
while reading, I can see it down there, 77.9 on the inside of a bag right over there. Um, you can see how many of those are popped out, uh, leafing out. Soon I'll put this big uh, Spider Farm 1000 watt LED grow light. I'm going to kind of mount it right here where I can swivel it over the top like this. Um, and I think I've got more cuttings on the way besides the ones I just got in the mail. So I'll probably have one more tub sitting right here by the time it's all done. So that's that for now unless I think of something else. Um, then we're going to edit this video and upload it. And uh, hopefully it will be some good viewing content for your pleasure. Because uh, I know there's plenty of fig popping videos out there and fig vids all over. But... When I sit down to watch YouTube, I, I can I can watch uh, several videos, so to say the least. So hopefully this makes for good content for everybody to watch. Um, that's the main reason I'm doing all of this. Not really to be a tutorial, but really to give you some something to watch. So that being said, have a great day and uh, good luck fig popping. Um, thanks everybody who I bought cuttings from this year. And uh, wish me luck. Good luck yourselves. All right. Bye.